Now, the, the phrase I want to drill in on here for just a moment before we leave this text is where the Lord says, is anything too hard for the Lord? Now, that's a good question I think that you need to ask yourself. Okay, God is revealing his own character here. And he is saying to himself, what is hard for me? Is anything hard for me? Abraham, do you think it's hard for me to open the womb of your wife even when she's well past the years of childbearing and even when you're a hundred years old? Do you think that's too hard? Nothing is impossible with me, Abraham. Now, I want this verse to encourage you, but at the same time, I don't want you to take this verse and latch onto it in an unhealthy way. Okay, what do I mean by that? A lot of people will take a verse like this out of context and they'll claim it for whatever they want to happen in their life. And so they'll say, is anything too hard for the Lord? No, therefore I will fill in the blank. Overcome my infertility, have a big bank account, move to this city, get this job, get this degree, marry this person, fill in the blank. Now, the theological truth is none of that is too hard for God to do in your life. None of it. However, just because he can doesn't mean he will or wants to. Or it doesn't mean that your plans are God's plans. And this is where the wrestle comes in, friends. Because we have desires and we have a will. We have wants and dreams and hopes and visions for our future. And sadly, God also has a will. And by sadly, I don't mean that God has a will. I mean that sadly, the two wills don't line up often. God's will will be accomplished no matter what. In fact, Ephesians 1.11 says this, He does all things according to the counsel of His will. But here's the encouragement, friends. Listen, even if your will doesn't line up with the sovereign's will, His will for you is the best plan that could ever be accomplished, even if it's not the plan you want. If you're His child, friends, His will for you is, I'm going to make an astonishing claim right now, wherever you're at in life right now, whatever state you find yourself in right now, God wants you there in some sense. Now that's hard to, that's hard to receive. This is where our theology hits the road. This is where our theology comes off of the big book and walks on the pavement. This is where our theology has an alarm waking up in the morning and it becomes reality instead of dreamland. Friends, if we say we believe in a sovereign God who's controlling all reality, and if the Bible proclaims that this indeed is the God who is, then that means that whatever's happening in your life right now is a part of His big plan. And now it might seem terrible, but you don't know the future. And God hasn't revealed what He's going to do with where you're at right now and what choices are before you or what hole you find yourself in. Now friends, I have to wrestle with these truths the same way. Because I find myself often in a place where I'm like, I don't want to be here. Anyone else with me? I don't want to be here. But what I can't do is the same thing you can't do, is take this verse and say, is anything too hard for the Lord? I could get out of this. Because the Lord doesn't want this for me. How do you know? Maybe he doesn't, but maybe he does. And so what do we do? Friends, we cling to God. This is what faith is. Faith is trust. And so when you don't have the faith to cling to God, what do you do? You ask him for faith. You say, oh God, give me the faith to trust you wherever I'm at and wherever my life's at right now. Whatever circumstance I find myself in, Give me the faith to trust you. And at the same time, friends, we have New Testament mandates that we can ask. I think it's right to ask for what you want. Give us this day our daily bread. 
You have not. Why? Because you ask not. And so ask. But then also remember, we know we have what we ask of Him if what? You ask according to His will. 1 John. That's right. And so this does coincide. This does fit together like a puzzle. We have a will and God has a will. God's will will be done. Your will will not always be done. But when the two wills intersect, guess whose will wins? Not yours. And that's good, believe it or not. But see, our sin makes us want to be small g gods. And we want to plot our own course. And I'm with you, friends. So, let us keep these two truths together. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Say it. No. Does that mean everything you will and want in your life will go that way? No. But you can certainly pray your desires. But then pray if you will. Or like Jesus in the garden, not my will, but yours be done. And that's how we wrestle, friends. And we wrestle through our lives this way. Speed bump after speed bump. 